Thanks, Jan. First item on our agenda is award bid for Carolus Paint Machine and Light Out System for Striping. Uh, last year, or well, actually it was the year before last, uh, Senator uh, Alberton was in, got the city a grant for $5,000 to buy that uh, striping machine and also he lost it over to be used for Paul Cone Trail. And that will be used to put a 50 foot pier right into the river on those concrete structures are up there. Um, we put $5,000 away for that, but this will pay for the whole machine and um, the majority of that. located in the Municipal Building, 141 South 1st Street, Fulton, New York, on or before June 6, 2011, up to 2 p.m., to be publicly open the same day at 2.15 p.m. in the Common Council Chambers of the Municipal Building. For one new and unused airless paint machine and write-on system for striping of, for the City of Fulton in accordance with specifications prepared by the City Engineering Department. And whereas the bids were received and read aloud as Pioneer Manufacturing Company, $12,993.50, Snow Fighting Equipment, $17,943. Whereas bids were referred to the City Engineering Department for review and recommendation. And whereas per memo dated June 7, 2011, Ronald Edick of the City Engineering Department recommends that the bid be awarded to Pioneer Manufacturing Company, the lowest responsible bidder. Whereas this Common Council agreed with the recommendation made by Mr. Edick, now therefore be it resolved that the bid submitted by Pioneer Manufacturing Company, being in the best interest of the City of Fulton, is hereby accepted and awarded. Be it further resolved that the City of Chamberlain be authorized to set up a capital account for the appropriation of funds for this item to be offset by the revenue from the New York State Grant. Um, Second, please. Second, I. There's a motion on the table. Second. Opposed? Motion carries. Item number two is the bond resolution for water bids and control plan. And item number three are tied in together as you, as you mentioned. So it says now, earlier this year, Pat had got, uh, um, we are under a consent order of the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation discovered the bird's eye was closing. I wrote the DEC a letter, their attorney, and asked them if they would extend the consent order by three years until we had time to see if we could replace bird's eye. I finally received a reply, and the reply was, you need to go ahead with the engineering, and then we'll sit down and talk about it, and we can show us the financials. Now, one thing I'd like to clear up, article in the paper recent, or shortly after that consent order came out, we had a small fine on it uh, that seemed to uh, uh, allude to the fact that the plant hadn't been man maintained. The consent order, other than cleaning the digester, has nothing to do with maintenance. It's actually adding grit removal, which we never had. You can't maintain something you never had. But it's also adding a mixing system. Jimmy talked to the bonding attorneys, and 
documents, uh, the drawings, the oversight, and the project. And that's what's got to be done by them. And that's where we're a little bit behind way because we were supposed to start that May 27th, and I held off because we did not have the response of the DEC. And we got that well after the May 27th. I've been uh, assured by the consultant Consent order 